Hi, I'm Carla Schaefer, Antique Speeds Designer, and I'll be demonstrating a double needle right angle weave earring. I'm going to go over the list of tools and supplies needed for this project. I'm using an 8mm Swarovski round and you will need 8 of these. I'm also using a 6mm bicone and you will need 10. I'm also going to be using a 5mm bicone and you will need 6 of those and 2 4mm bicones. You will need an 11 0 seed bead, a pair of ear wires, fire line, and a, um, to a needle two needles actually, you can use a number 10 or a number 12, and also a pair of snips or nipper tool. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is cut about a yard of the fire line and then string a needle on each end of the, um, of the fire line. And we'll be working with both needles at one time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one of my 8 millimeter rounds and then I'm going to drop a seed bead on either side of that round. And then I'm also going to pick up another round and another seed bead on each needle. And I'm going to bring these to the center of the fire line. And then we're going to take our last 8 millimeter round for this section of the earrings. And I'm going to string it on one needle and I'm going to go ahead and pass the thread through and then I'm going to take my other needle and I'm going to run it back through the opposite direction and then I'm going to take either end of the fire line and the needles I'm going to bring them up together and you know I use about a yard of fire line that gives me plenty to work with and then we're going to bring them together into a circle and then what I'm going to do just to reinforce this circle is I'm going to go ahead and take one needle at a time and run it back through the ring that we just created just to reinforce it and come back up out of that bead. So I'm just going to run it back through. And then we're going to stop there. I've got it. To, I went all the way around with one thread, and that's that's all that we'll need before we start the next tier. Okay, for the next tier, we're going to be using the six millimeter bicone, and again, we're going to string on a seed bead on each needle, and a bicone on each needle, followed by another seed bead. I'm going to bring these down to the ring that we've already made. Then I'm going to pick up another bicone with one needle, my left, in this kit. Most of the time when you do right angle, we you do everything and cross over with your right. So you pick up with your left and cross over with your right. Again, just as we did the bottom tier, we're just going to slip that needle back through there. And again, we're going to bring it together until we've formed yet another loop. This time we're sharing this bead here to create this loop. And then we'll start our third tier. Okay, and now we're, again we're going to work with our third, we're going to do our third tier. And again I'm going to pick up a seed bead on each needle. So it's very repetitive. Basically all you're doing is building on this in a, in a, just gradually changing your sizes. So we picked up one six millimeter on each and one seed bead on each needle. And then now we're going to pass our 5 millimeter through. So I'm going to pick the 5 millimeter up on my left. And then I'm going to take my right needle, run it through that bicone. And then again, I'm just going to pull till we create yet another circle. Okay, again for our last tier, we are going to do the same thing. Seed bead on each needle. And once you learn this stitch, you may add tiers. I had a friend that I have made hers extra long, so she had to have an extra tier. I think I may have done an extra two tiers. So you can play around with the materials and um, how many tiers that you add. So I've added a seed bead 
and another five millimeter bicone to each needle. I'm going to pick up a seed bead again on each needle and then our last bead which is going to be a four millimeter. So I'm going to slip that on my left thread. I'm going to run my right through the bicone only. And again we're going to tighten this to form this last tier. And then we'll make the little beaded loop for the ear finding. Okay, now we have completed our set here and I've, we've just done four tiers on this pair and all we need to do now is make our little seed bead loop right here for our earring finding to attach to. So I'm going to pick up three seed beads on each needle. And bring them down to the bicone. And all we're going to do is run and the needle, I'm just going to take my right needle here and run it back through all the, through the three seed beads on the opposite side. Through these seed beads, through the bicone. Till we create a little loop here. Back up through those first three. Tighten everything up and back down through those th first three that we went through. So we formed a little loop. Okay, now that I've got this um, this thread coming out of these three here, I'm just going to take my needle and run it back through these three seed beads again. Run it through the bicone until my threads meet on either side here. Sorry, I got that tingled up. And then all we need to do now is just like in all of our fire line and seed bead work is we're going to run it back through a couple of beads and tie a half hitch knot into the body on both sides and then we'll be ready to attach our earring finding and you will have one of your earrings made. And I'm going to run it back through this bicone and seed bead and just leave it there. I'm going to take the other needle, run it back down and across. And again I'm going to tie another knot. I'm going to run it down. And then we'll trim our threads. Well. And we'll just snip our threads and then we'll add our earring finding. I'm going to be very careful not to cut your beadwork. And I did forget to mention that you'll need a pair of pliers to open up the earring finding. Sorry about that. So we just want to open up the loop of the earring finding. We're going to slip the seed bead loop that we just created over. And if you're more comfortable with using a jump ring, you may go ahead and add a jump ring or two here. I like to just keep it minimal with the seed beads. And then you've created a pair of earrings. You just repeat all steps for the last um, to complete the pair.